hard times in so many ways, not the least of which is financial instability. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Plymouth has created an emergency rent relief program, and Julie invited Habitat's development director, Amy Belmore, to tell us more. Hi, Amy. So good to see you. Great to see you, Julie. Now, exciting news. You've, you've recently announced um, a new rent relief program through Habitat. Can you talk about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, we did. We announced with grant support from the Community Foundation of Southeastern Massachusetts, we created a COVID-19 rent relief program really in response to the financial challenges that so many people are facing right now. And so this program is for residents in the communities that we serve and for low-income households who are dealing with whether it's job loss or hours or wages reduced or medical issues in the home, people who have been negatively impacted by COVID-19. Um, we wanna make sure that they can keep a roof over their heads and that they do not face an eviction situation when the state's moratorium on evictions expires in August. Okay, now how, do, how would I apply for that? How does it work? What are the criteria, that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. It's a fairly simple application. It is on our website, and I know that's gonna be on your screen, um, but there are, uh, it's a two-page application where we just ask you to provide some information about where you live now, the circumstances that you find yourself in, and whether there is back rent owed. However, I will say that that is not a requirement. Uh, we do understand that some people are on, pan they're collecting pandemic unemployment and they are making um, rent their top priority. And that certainly is um, an appropriate way to, to look at their expenses. But we also know that some people are, are leaving other things behind, healthy food, prescriptions, utilities. And so we want to be helpful on the rent category and we do have funds to expend, and we need to expend them quickly, actually. They are meant to be emergency relief. And so we have two phases. With the first phase, um, we have a deadline of July 22nd to submit applications. The second phase, the deadline will be in August, in mid-August. Yeah, it did. Well, actually, if you recall, month, no, a few months ago now, um, Governor Baker's wife, Lauren, announced the Mass COVID-19 Relief Fund, um, and they worked with the community foundations across the state. And so our area is represented by the Community Foundation of Southeastern Massachusetts. We created this concept. Affordable housing is our priority. It's what we do each and every day. Most of us, most people think of Habitat as building houses start to finish. And that is our general focus, of course, but we are living in extraordinary times. And so we wanted to think beyond uh, what we normally do and think about how we can keep people in their homes um, in addition to continuing to build the homes um, that we've been working on for the past several months. Excellent. Uh, that is just wonderful. Now, what you serve uh, the greater Plymouth community, but how many, how many towns do you actually serve? Yes, thank you for asking. So we serve six towns. They include Plymouth, Carver, Kingston, Middleborough, Lakeville, and Plimpton. And so that's where this relief will be directed to people who are renting. Um, there, are, there is a, a low income um, criteria, which you'll find on our website as well. And um, we really hope that people will take advantage of this opportunity. This relief is available and we wanna make sure it gets into the hands of people who need it. And my last question, um, the pandemic unemployment assistance, the $600 a month, that a, a week that a lot of people are getting, the end of that is the end of July, and it seems to be piggybacking with the end of the rent eviction uh, ending. I know. Can, can this you is speak very to that interesting double timing. whammy? Yeah. I'm sorry to, to jump on top of what you were no, saying. No, go ahead. Uh, but you're right. It, it, it's challenging timing, and the way our grant source works, it's. It's an intricate timing process, but you're right that um, pandemic unemployment will end at the end of July. The eviction moratorium that the state um, required or put into effect months ago uh, expires in the middle of August. And so I think when people you know, reach the middle of August, the end of August, early September, they're gonna be finding themselves in a real predicament if they are still unemployed and not back to work yet. Hopefully people will get back to work, but we know that's a slow process and we know you know, the jobs that were there before the pandemic 
not all of them are going to be there. Right. And clearly our, our state legislators are totally aware of that really fine timeline that people will be navigating. And in some cases, it's, it's almost an impossible situation that will face them. But again, people like you, like Habitat, um, are working towards helping um, individuals. Amy, thank you so much. This is great news. We'll get it out right away. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much for all you do, Julie, and everybody over there. Thank you, Julie and Amy. Help and hope in hard times keeps our community strong together.